Hi, welcome to PM803 Cost and Budget Management from Grand State College. We're going to briefly overview what this course is about and what to expect. First, we'll talk about what's included in the course. What we will talk about in this course is cost from beginning to end, from project selection through planning, through controlling the course, also talk about change and closure. We will not talk about, or I will assume, what I assume is that you already have experience with project schedule management, project risk management, and the definitions related to projects versus programs versus portfolios. These are the 12 topics that we'll be covering in the course that are spread out over Moodle. Now let's talk about the structure of the course. Each week may have one or more of the items that you see listed here. There may be lectures, there may be multiple lectures, there may be readings from texts, there may be readings from online readings or videos also. Each week you also have activities or assignments. There's the discussion forums, there are exercises, short exercises, there's the case study, which is your e-portfolio, and there's the journal. The syllabus is the contract between myself and you. If anything about the course pedagogy is unclear, that's the place to start looking for answers. There are several discussion forums that have been created also to allow you to ask questions as well and to help one another to make suggestions to each other as well. Those are listed here. One forum is course-wide, the general discussion and questions for anything related to the course as a whole and each week has its own forum for posting questions or making suggestions or helping one another out uh, during that particular week or with information related to that particular module. There are also a couple of informal forums, the introductions and the student lounge for uh, exchange, informal exchanges basically amongst ourselves. And finally, there's feel free, always feel free to message or email me with questions or suggestions as well. Let's discuss the case study now. That's a significant portion of the work that you're going to do in this course. As you are aware, the final course in your program is the capstone course. In that course, you execute the project that you have planned in each of the prior component project courses, rather, in this series or in this program. In this particular course, you develop your budget. So in this and from prior courses, you should have done a work breakdown structure, a charter, a schedule that are now built upon. And this is required for completion for program completion. So that co capstone course or project rather is in this course your case study. Now we'll talk a bit about chalk and wire. In this course, you have three assignments that are your case study assignments that will be placed into Chalk and Wire. And those are the estimate and budget for your project, an EVMS report for your project, and the final narrative. I want to remind you that there is a difference between an assessment in Chalk and Wire and the grade in Moodle. Assessment is describing or evaluating or assessing how well you are doing as a professional project manager. The grade, which is entered into Moodle through Chalk and Wire, uh, is assessing or evaluating how well you're doing at that level for this particular assignment. There's a difference between an assessment and a grade. Let's overview the prerequisites. This basically is the knowledge that I assume you have prior to entering this course. PM801 and PM802 are prerequisites for this course. That means I assume you know the difference between projects, programs, and portfolios. You know how to construct a WBS, a schedule, 
to assign resources to activities, and to perform a risk assessment. Should you desire refresher information on any of those topics, there are optional readings in this first week of the course. You are also expected to be able to use three products that are sold by Microsoft, Excel, Project, and Word. Granite State has an agreement that allows you to acquire Project free of charge. It will be necessary to develop your schedule using Project. Excel is necessary for some of the exercises and for the estimate and budget of the case study. You're expected to be able to perform basic calculations in Excel. It is considered unacceptable to calculate something by some other means and simply enter a number into a cell. For example, if an exercise requires that you add several numbers, you must be able to do that using the SUM function in Excel not by adding the numbers with a calculator and entering the result into a cell. The rubric for any assignment that contains calculations reflects this expectation. If you are not proficient in Excel, there are free videos that will teach you how to use Excel. See the course page, subpage rather, titled Orientation to find that website. Let's begin now. If you've not already done so, read the syllabus and introduce yourself in the introductions forum. Then begin exploring the topic for this week, Project Portfolio Management.